and reporting. Well, their business is all about keeping their clients warm at night. And when they're not working, they're helping to warm the hearts and stomachs of the less fortunate. CTV's Rosie Del Campo has more in this week's Local Hero. The Kubaseks are feeling another goose down comforter at their family business, and they've put just as much care and effort into filling the mouths of many of the less fortunate. We often had surplus of uh, either things that we grew or made, or and uh, then we thought it shouldn't go to waste. Teresa Kubasek and her late husband Julius have been some of the many donors over the years at the House of Friendship where their donations of homemade noodles and homegrown produce have helped the organization prepare and serve about 100 meals a day. They have brought a lot of things over the years and it's, it's in the 20, 20th year, maybe longer that they've been doing that. And without them, we could not survive. So they are heroes in our eyes. And then the Kubasek's generosity has also inspired their daughter. They would always think of the poor and the hungry and they would always give and give and give and to me that is a huge thing in life to be able to help others. And without help from volunteers like the Kubaseks, the House of Friendship says it wouldn't be able to carry on helping 42,000 people every year. No act is small enough or big enough. We, everyone pitches in, does their part and that's how we build a stronger community and ensure that everyone has a place to belong. And their part in building a stronger community makes the Kubaseks and all the volunteers at the House of Friendship this week's local heroes. Rosie Del Campo, CTV News, Kitchener.